Hello, Bishop Walsh here. It's Wednesday, July 5th. I'm here in Gaylord on a gorgeous hot summer day. And behind me is the press box and new bleachers that are part of the improvements for the athletic facilities for our cathedral school. And uh, thanks to everyone who made contributions for these improvements and also for the building uh, with that common space where they're going to be able to add new bleachers. Uh, so there's very nice things that are happening here in the school community for uh, St. Mary's. And uh, just a few things to reflect on with you this week. I want to say thanks to our group that came from Scranton, Pennsylvania, our Holy Cross students and their four adult chaperones. We had a wonderful week together. Uh, I really miss them already. And I think there's, they're a true blessing, I know, for me. And we just gave them a good uh, northern Michigan experience, I think, of a lot of uh, service projects and orientation towards some of the things happening in the Diocese of Gaylord. So I uh, apologize if we're moving around here a little bit. That's a bit of the, the hot summer wind that is blowing here. Uh, but we're grateful for growing in faith through service. That is the gifts program that they have uh, that was part of the learning experience of faith for our young people that I think is just a great gift for any, anyone to grow in their faith through service, to have a sense of missionary outreach to others that you learn how to give of yourself and come out of your comfort zone and uh, apply yourself in ways that will stretch and uh, give new purpose and meaning to life. So thanks, thanks for that experience. Today, I uh, got the good news that Bishop Alvarez was released from prison, and we're so grateful for that. I'm sure that is the fruit of many prayers and the efforts that have been made to advocate on his behalf, the very unjust um, sentencing that he had. And we'll just pray for whatever is going to be next for him, because uh, certainly he's been through a lot of trauma, but um, we pray that his faith will be strong and we'll see what God has in store for him next. But thank, thank God for uh, his release from prison and let us continue to keep him in our prayers as well as uh, all those who have come from Nicaragua uh, not only to the United States but here in our diocese. So I know some of uh, our Nicaraguans are beginning new jobs and they've gotten cars and they're still working on a few other things but um, thank God there's much that is being uh, provided and helping them with their transition. Uh, I was earlier this morning over at the Gaylord Airport. Every once a month on Wednesday, they have um, coffee and donuts for veterans. And I just thought that was a wonderful thing to plug into. I want to thank Joe Switowski. He's a veteran himself, works for our diocese, and uh, he had let me know about that. So uh, I was there to mix and mingle a little bit with some of our, our veterans and thank God for our veterans who, as we know from this past 4th of July weekend, we do... Uh, need our military services to maintain what we know is the true gift of freedom in our country all through its history. And uh, we thank those who have served our country in the, the armed forces. I'm going through all of the directors meetings once again. Uh, it's always um, usually the first part of the month, uh, reviewing all the things that are happening and uh, planning. So I thank all of the directors each time uh, that I have an opportunity for the good work that they do and continue to move forward with a lot of the projects and looking at how we use the resources and the Catholic services appeal monies that are so important. So thanks again to all of the parishes and people who are making contributions to our Catholic services appeal. Uh, again, source and summit of our faith. We stay rooted in the Eucharist and let everything flow from that in terms of the mission of the church. This weekend, I'm going to be celebra celebrating Masses with the Sisters of Mercy of Alma and the Knights of Columbus um, in two different venues. But uh, I'm going to be going to the National Shrine of the Cross in the Woods with the Knights of Columbus. Hopefully the weather holds out and I'll have my first outdoor Mass there. I'm looking forward to that. I'll also be in Traverse City on Sunday for Strangers No Longer, uh, Mass at Our Lady of Guadalupe Chapel and the, the work that they do helping with immigration issues. Um, and 
lastly, I'd ask you your prayers for our international priests. Um, we, as you know, as of July 1st, we have a lot of new assignments and we pray for all those who are taking on new assignments. But the two international priests that we we're expecting to be with us haven't arrived yet from Nigeria. Please pray for them. And I'm, I know here in, in Gaylord and in Alpina, especially where they're going to be assigned, we really need to get them here as soon as possible. So ask, let's ask God to storm heaven, to ask them to facilitate getting them here as soon as possible. And then two priests from India will be joining us in August. And lastly, Alpenfest is coming up. So uh, if you have a chance to visit uh, Gaylord, it's a wonderful experience of community. So thank you for checking in and God bless.